Yeah, we were just, I'm in Mrs. Keller's room, the tech, tech all-stars. They really uh, try their best at this practice. I, can, I know it. Um, it's really cool to see. It gets easier over time. You get more and more awareness the more you do it um, of the thought. So the, today's challenge is going to be, because it is like a little challenge, it's a sound challenge. So we're going to bring in some sound bowls that will add to, I've been told, because I've done this for six years now, when we do the sound bowls, people really like it because it gives them the, something to follow. And then I always remind you, you know, you can't do this wrong. It's like not one more thing. Oh, man, one more thing I'm going to mess up at. It's not even it at all. You can't do this wrong. That's the beauty of this practice. It's just the fact that you're trying it um, is going to give you so much benefits. It's trippy, too, because when you think about video games, like when I play video games, it's almost like mindfulness, but it's the opposite, but it does the same thing to some extent because you're constantly focusing on something new so the mind doesn't get a chance to tell you, oh, you got to be studying for your test. You're just doing the video game. So when you do the mindfulness, try that. Try that you're just following the breath, listening to the noises, paying attention to what is happening right now. So let's begin. Find your best posture. The one you like. It kind of dedicates the practice's beginning. This moment of like, okay, now I'm, I'm starting up. I'm sitting here. I'm feeling my chair. I'm feeling the floor. Feet on the ground. Air on the skin. Whatever you notice about the body is a sense window. That's, that's the practice. So just kind of drop in. Notice. Be okay with just how it is right now. Right now it's like this. You're not trying to create something or make it special or get rid of the thoughts. That's never going to happen. But being aware of the thoughts is, is the training, the, the, the beauty of this practice. So being aware of the noises in the room you're in. Maybe follow the fan, the background person next to you might be breathing super heavy you're like oh man that's annoying but then that's just a thought right just noticing it for what it is the breath and as you're settling in I've been told talk to a group of students in the hallway today about what they get out of it they like that it calms them down it's calming so being that, that, that awareness to the sounds. Focus on where the sound starts and where does it end? Where does another begin? With the eyes closed. the different notes
ask a question this week. Kind of like a little bit of homework. As you sit here, maybe a thought arises, catches your attention. But the question will be, are you your thoughts? Sometimes when we get angry, we're so caught up in that feeling, that emotion, that we're sure we're angry. And then maybe the friend apologizes or you realize that it was a mistake of why you got angry. And just like that, it's gone. But in that heat of the moment, you're sure you're angry. It's like all it is. So next week I'll ask, after you've had a chance to ponder it, what's the answer to that question? Are we our thoughts? Another way of maybe looking at it, do your thoughts define you? So we'll finish up that deep question. Now, now let that question go, thinking of that, and just think about how does your breath feel right now? Just kind of focusing on the breath. Where does one breath end and another begin? Has your breathing changed over the sit? Sometimes I notice the mind gets a little bit slower or deeper, more relaxed. Kind of like it. When you hear this tape, it'll be our Thursday slash Tuesday. One more day and it's Friday or Wednesday, and then we have a four-day weekend. One more week, and then we have Thanksgiving break. How exciting is that? Hope you got a little benefit out of today, and talk to you soon.